Well, hello there. It is I, Evie Trooper, and yes, it has been a very long time since I've uploaded a video here. I have been pretty busy, and I still don't have a lot of time, but I managed to get one video out right now for you. And as you can see, I have a nice little setting of some of the Republic units. We got an ATTE and some 501st bar speeders and ATRTs. And of course, the clone armies in battle are the 501st and the 212th. This is a nice little collection right here, even with just so few, but you guys may notice something a little unusual. Perhaps you see Captain Rex and Commander Cody, both in Phase 2 armor. And if you read by the title, yep, these are Clone Army custom characters. I, like many other Star Wars fans of LEGO and everything, would love to have some really cool Star Wars minifigs. And Clone Army Customs is by far one of the most recognizable places where people go to get really cool clone trooper units. And not only did I get these two clone commanders, I also got them some more weapons. And you can see all the cool unique weapons I got, but you see this Captain Rex blank helmet in front of my character? I actually bought that one because I based my character to have a similar helmet change as Captain Rex. So I actually plan to make that one have some green designs on it as well. I also acquired some of the Phase 2 clone pilot helmets. I already have like the characters and I saw no reason to buy the rest of the minifigure. So I decided just to get the helmets so I could switch them back and forth. And not only did I get some cool weapons, I also got a macro binocular set. They had it in the green, and I didn't want to buy any other helmets or anything, but I thought it'd be kind of cool for my unit. I wasn't really sure it was going to work, so I got it for mainly my Phase 2 helmet. But surprise, surprise, I didn't know this, but these macro binoculars actually work on regular minifigs from the LEGO company itself. So in case if some of you were actually questionable on that, now you know. And of course, not only did I get stuff for my clones, I also got a couple Mandalorian blasters. And I think I made a good call getting them in chrome. So what do you guys think? Is this a nice little addition to my collection? And if you guys are thinking about getting Clone Army Customs things, I assure you it's going to be amazing. A little expensive, but it's amazing. I guess a little tidbit I would give for you guys is to make sure you get a clone that you would really like to have in your collection. Like getting a regular Phase 2 clone is nice, but getting a Phase 2 Commander Cody is probably more of a better idea since LEGO still refuses to make a version of their own. That's all I got for you guys. So I'm sorry for it being so short and everything, but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys in another video.